to me about it. Mm -hmm. um, there are a bunch of people that live in the water district that have been attending meetings and are having a pretty fair amount of concern about how things are being handled there. And I am fully aware of the subtleties between like the Board of Water Trustees and the Board of Selectmen and that this is an elected board that has separate RSAs from you. But some of the concerns that I have and that the group has are that some of the things that could potentially happen could have a huge impact on the town. Um, just this week, a letter from DES came <coughs> into the water district about our well being run below where it should be run. Um, a lot of the concerns have to do with what will happen if we end up polluting the river or we end up compromising the drinking water. Property values, um, the reputation of the community, um, not to mention the fact that police have had to be called to these meetings for the way that they're being chaired and handled. So I wanted to speak as a member of the Water District and a person who's been following this closely, um, let the board know that this is going on and make sure that it goes on the record that people are super concerned about it. I also wanted to suggest that you potentially look into ways that as we may have some oversight of this going forward. Like what, are, what can we do? What options do we have to do anything about it? And I don't know if anybody else that's here wanted to speak or anybody else? Yes. Yeah. Angela Matthews and I live at 437 Locust Street in, uh, here and I'm in the water and sewer district. Um, so I have both services at my property. There are, as I understand it, there are about 500 households on the system, all residents of the town. So uh, bringing this concern forward on behalf of all of us who live in the town of Rollinsburg and have some concerns in particular about um, some potential backsliding. And I'll give you one example. Uh, on Locust Street, I live, I've lived there for going on five years. Not, I'm not a very long time resident of the town. For three of those years, I repeatedly brought a concern about low water pressure on my street to the Water Commission. And was told repeatedly that there were various reasons. In the winter, there's ice, and that slows the pressure, that lowers the pressure. In the summer, it's not a full tank. Whatever it was, there was a seasonal reason for why I had really it, low water pressure. And so last year, or about last year, it was down to a trickle. And I went to another district meeting and brought it to the attention one more time to the commission. Superintendent Ray McNeil was at my house the next day at 8 a.m. He came inside my house to check all the pressure and to see what he could discern from that. He then went outside to the hydrant down the street and he said, I'll be back in five minutes and we'll see what happens. He replaced an aged, rusted valve in that hydrant and it immediately restored the pressure in my system. He came back to check and see if that had done anything and I said, Oh, it's more than 100% better. It's like 500% better. So he said, um, great, you'll see another change shortly because I'm going to go to the hydrant on the other end of the street. And he swapped out a valve in the hydrant, which on the other end of the street is across from the grade school. So my concern here is that in terms of backsliding, what I mean is if we, we have the expertise of someone who is very, very qualified to do his job and pays attention when someone brings something to his attention, which did, was not my past experience. And that is the reason that I'm very concerned about what is you know, beginning to happen and percolate in our district. Um, so I thought about the impact. So it seems like a minor inconvenience not to have very good water pressure in your house. So that's one thing. But it's a safety factor. If those fire hydrants are not able to produce water at an amount that would put out a fire in either the grade school or any house on that street, what would that danger be to the entire neighborhood? So that is um, my experience with the district and, uh, and with my great satisfaction in the changes I have seen. Now these things cost money. There's no question about that. It costs money to meet the kinds of standards we have to meet in the 21st century. And the things that were mentioned earlier about the integrity, not just of the system, 
and this water table, everyone's sharing the water table. So if we think this is related only to the 500 households who are drawing water off uh, towers, those, the water in those towers comes from someplace. So every house is impacted by the water sewer district, which is another reason for the select board in the town of Rollinsburg to consider managing that district in a different way. It's a district within our, our town. It's a village within the village. And um, so the, the other thing that I wanted to say about that is um, the environmental impact to the entire ecosystem, which Tamara was talking about a minute ago. Um, those are reasons why the select board and the entire town of Rollinsburg should be concerned about what happens in the water sewer district. Even though it does not attach itself to every house, it serves and impacts every house in this town. So I will um, share with you the comments that I wrote and my concerns. And I'm looking at what's happening, you know, if you say, oh, Flint is a long way from us. Kentucky is a long way away. And those are recent examples of crisis in water systems. There's a crisis in York's water system. And they're relying on Kittery to provide them with water. But their requirement is if Kittery is going to send them water, they have to put ammonia in the water. Well, they already chlorinate their water, which would create a toxic gas in their system. So these, these kinds of problems that are coming closer and closer to our community are of concern to me and of concern to how we manage this district. And I do have, I would like to just um, hand you my remarks, which I did prepare in writing uh, and things to share with you so that um, I would be on record with my concerns. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Anybody know when the next meeting is? Mark, do you know when it is? Well, what is? The next to a district meeting. June 12th. Time? 6.30 p.m. at the Legion.